Hello everybody and mm -hmm. welcome once again to All The Mods 4, episode 4 no less. So what I'd like to do today is do some turtle work. But first of all, with that, I found another village. I think I skipped that clip last time because it was and the video would be too long. Um, with some beetroot in it. But also, I one of these traders, and there's one just outside the door here, had the stonebreaker pickaxe, which is one of the th two things I want. So let's have a quick look and go back to the village and start there. So right, here we are. Here's another trade. Let's have a look. Oh, he's not got very much of interest today. <coughs> Dark oak saplings for five emeralds. This is not the one I found last time. There's no brick of pickaxe I've put away in... I'm not sure where. I think it's not in here. In here. So this is an efficiency five mending fortune four pickaxe. Basically, I'm breaking with minus fever four in it. And it costs 30 emeralds. Now, let's go and have a look on how I got those emeralds. Get him out there. It's very easy, and it's actually surprisingly quick. Is that a phantom? I can hear, oh gosh, it's three They are here in the day. No, they're not. They're dropping something. I just saw it drop something over here. I should be able to see them. Now, where is it going to? Right, so those two villages were the same village. And I also got these. When I was, between times I did some, um, more fishing so i got some more lost tablets so this was a pillager outpost in end city now that means we should be able to travel to the end without having to go and kill the ender dragon i think and then we got the same villages we've got before so let's go and actually put those away before we start because otherwise well inventory will be too full and these llamas are a bit of a nuisance for my poor crops by the way <laughs> I keep trampling my crops. Now, there is a way to solve that with, um, what's the mod called? Better farming for blockheads. It's a, it's a new mod. So let's put these. I've got some space in here for one of these things. Here we go. In here like this. Get them out of the way. So what we want to do is see if we can get some... Oh, yes, I picked up some grave dust. Must have got that from one of those mobs. Where is it? Oh, yes, it's in there. Let's just shift-click that stuff into that. Get rid of that stuff. And these silk silk, silk cocoons are great, by the way, because they, they give you these silk threads, and that is equivalent to um, string. I think I said that before. And you get nine per silk thing with a spindle, and I've done that as well. So what, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go to the village, and I'll see you when I'm over there. Right, here we are again in this village. So this is the one that I found first. Well, it's actually, yes, it's the one I found first, so we're going to come back here. In fact, it wouldn't make sense to share these sheep if I've got my sheep when we could. We have. I'm not sure what we need for. Um, I'll take those. If I, if I get all the bits. Look on the mini map. Look if there's any tr any blue ones. So here we've got a cleric, a librarian. So he's going to give me paper for emeralds. So I've got some uh, sugar cane here. Now we should just find out. And then there's a just gone into this building here. It's not much use. Have I got a and there are lots of potatoes in there. And the reason I've got lots of potatoes in here, as I said, that farmer that was in the well became a non... Oh. Became unemployed. So I've got to get those two guys out of here. And these ones here, these other farmers, take carrots. So let's get the emeralds from him. So I basically want lots of carrots, as many carrots as possible. And you get your emeralds fairly fast doing this. I put some carrots down here, didn't I? And if you do it enough, then they will actually become the next level. Well, this apprentice will become journeyman. But they'll also give you discounts on the carrots. So the way I've been getting the carrots was that easy. I set up a little farm just beside these two farms over here. I think it's behind this house. I can't remember where I put it now. Oh, there it is. Look. And it's only a, a 16, well, it's basically 4x4 four four block. And all I do is I take the, the watering the watering can and hold the right mouse button down. I just stand here like this. And these crops grow so fast that you can actually get a stack of carrots with almost no time whatsoever. And carrots are probably one of the best because they don't give you any byproducts like like bad potatoes and what's the other one that you get from um, 
wheat, you get seeds from wheat and uh, and beetroot, you get seeds from beetroot, which are which are useful. But uh, sometimes they're they're not so useful. So we're just getting these carrots going like this. So I've already got a, a stack of carrots because they're now rolling over into my hot bar. So so all I've been doing is this, and I did, came over here with a few, with one or two carrots. See, easily got 16 carrots, and we can just stand around here like this with this thing. And I want to upgrade this to the next one, but I can't do that yet until we get the uh, fertilizer stuff. I think you can make it. As a, you can see here, there's a carrot loose there. And it really doesn't take very long to get these carrots. So I've got two stacks, six now, from 20. So you can come along here, and then we can go and trade with this farmer again. Or we can choose the other farmers, two of them. This guy's now giving me discount, so he's probably the one I want to trade with. Seven and eight. So I've got discount on both carrots and beetroot for him, and the other one was... Oh, he's gone into here. Right, that isn't good, so we're going to have to get them out of here. So let's just get rid of this. As long as I don't hit them, I'm all right. <laughs> then they put the prices up, and I'll probably get attacked by the. Uh... Oops, missed. I'll probably get attacked by the. Um... Oh, it's night time, but to get in, but to quickly get the bed out, got the bed with me. My sleeping bag. Let's have a quick sleep. Uh oh. Now have I got my bow with me? I'm going to get attacked. <laughs> Oh, it's night. It's day. Is it night time or daytime? That should be up here. Sword. He comes in like this. We just hit him on the head. He gets near, and that should basically deal a lot of damage to, to them. Right. Good. You get one brain. There's another one. Oh, I wanted to go sleep, didn't I? Who shot me? Oh, the. There's a skeleton behind me. Okay, good. This time I did not have a problem. Right, took a little bit of damage, but of course we've got the good armor now, so it's not so bad. So what I was doing is I was just breaking the this artifice so these two guys can get out. That's not so good because they can't get out if it's water's flowing. Oh yes, they can. Good. Yes, they're going perfectly out of the way. And what I'll do is, here is I'll block them out so they can't get in. Don't mind the nitwit going in there, of course, but just move out of the way, please. So I can put the block back down again. Like that. So what we'll do is we'll just put a quick fence post around here. What's that? Oh, that's the bell. So I just need a little bit of wood. Go we'll and get the wood, and I'll come back in a few seconds when um, I've got what we need. Right, so I basically wanted some wood, so I chopped it down a couple of trees, and then we're going to make a crafting table. And what I'm going to do with the crafting table is just put it down here quickly, and then make some fence posts. I think I've got enough of get walls, so six walls for one per thing. So I should be able to lock this out so that the villagers can't get into here. That's the intention, anyway. I don't think I've got enough, but we'll. I'm sure to do. Oh, see, so yeah, there were these mossy cobbles, so that's why I was missing the two. Uh, I can't do it anyway. So what I was doing was that, and what I would like to do is to carry on doing that until I've got another 30 emeralds, because the next tool that's really good is a, is a sword that gives you looting, I think it's looting a five on it. And with this sword, if you kill an enderman, you'll get about four or five ender pearls. Now, we're going to need ender pearls, Especially from the next thing I'm going to project, I'm going to do, which is um, uh, um, what I'm trying to say, which is the um, they are having a bit of a brain fart at the moment. Let's have a look. Turtles, that's right. Yes. So I'll see you in a few seconds when I've got what I need. Right, I'm done. I've got 41 emeralds, and this guy's is now a journeyman. He's giving. Um, Melons, three melons for an emerald, which is a pretty good one, or five pumpkins. Melons, we have to find a melon seed. Pumpkins, 
I've already found one from a traveling trailer, so he gave me one melon seed for a couple of emeralds. So now, let's just, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove this extra marker, and I'll be back in a short while when we're back at base. Right, so I'm back at base again now. And as you can see, I've got the Stonebreaker pick with me. So that's how I got the diamond, the emeralds very quickly. It took about, I suppose, 15 minutes. And these traveling trailers will stay around a, probably about three depth for about almost an hour, I think, they stay around. So you've got plenty of time in order to do that. So that's why I did it. Yeah, and I said the next one was a sword, and I wanted the ender pearls. The ender pearls are actually for the wireless modems, not for the turtles. Turtles we're going to do now. So in here I've got the bits and pieces we need to make the turtles. Let's just flick those into there like that, and then grab all of this stuff. I'll just move it down like that. We've got everything we need, I think. So then we can make the computers and the turtles. So, so let's have a look at computer craft tweaked which is this one here so we want to make some comp computers we're going to make four i think that was those ingredients and then from there we're going to make some turtles we shall make two ah strange why is that not showing with the recipe for a turtle now that is they have to be a minecraft chest they have to be a computer and they have to be blocks oh, that's weird <laughs> oh okay just just a bit invisible <laughs> right um that surprised me a bit actually i was a bit puzzled by that i've got the other things here i've got some more glass i think oh it's just extra glass that i had from over uh and some iron now we need a, a, a diamond pick that hasn't got any mbt tags on it in order to get a mining pick this one here so we get one of these now we've got this pick so we're going to go and get some diamonds. And the diamonds are down here. As you may have realised, I have actually found some diamonds because there's a D on the map. And D stands for diamonds. Being imaginative and creative, I decided to call them D for diamonds. <laughs> In fact, that I'm not even sure if I've shown you those before, but I know I have done at one stage. So we go through here and then... On the left hand side I did some branch mining and one of the first branch mines I found was this one. It was actually the second. So I'm going to use this pick and I'm going to or excavate all of these up because there's no, looking on the minimap there's no lava about. Whew, whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I also did the, um, not only did the diamonds, I also did the stone at the same time. So here we've got some candy ore. Let's, we'll take this this way. As well, and then we've ended up with a lot of um, cobblestone, which I didn't really want to do. There's actually some more candy ore here as well, and there's some of this stuff, arcane crystals. I'm sure we're going to need these anyway, so let's or excavate those up as well. Oops, I've done it again. This pick's too fast. <laughs> I'm complaining about the speed of a pick. Wow. So it's basically through here, and I need to basically, oh gosh, try that again. From things you get XP, that it will automatically mend the pick. What about this one over here? Yeah, that's fine. So how many diamonds did we get? 31. And I think there were about 8 or 9 in that particular block. So I've got to put all this cobblestone back again. And I'll do that. And I'll see you in a second when I put, it, put everything back as it, I want it. <laughs> right, not quite exactly as I wanted it. But there is another diamond just up here. I think I saw... So another diamond. If I can find it, that is. So this pick is, as you saw, pretty amazing. So like three times the the return for diamonds is a pretty good start. There must have been something down there that I excavated. I am a bit low. Okay, I think I know where I am. Let's fill in this hole here. I can hear a skeleton. This is what's really nice about... Um, that must have been an end. I don't know where I am, but we are. <laughs> Normally I put... Yes, I do. I always put my torches on the left-hand side as I'm going out to a place. So as you can see... Oh yes, more diamonds. I thought there were some more. 
around. Let's have a look. Let's find out how well we do with these. If I take this pickaxe here and break away around this, that's that dimensional shard. We'll take that as well. This will also give XP, so we'll... Oh, blimey. I did it again. <laughs> right, well, anyway, we can see we've got a few diamonds here. That looks like it's definitely... I'm not sure how many we've got. Let's get rid of this. I've got to be careful with this, of course. If I do it again, I might get something else I don't want. See, I've turned on light levels as well to make sure. Okay, that looks like it's an eight. That's four there, a four there, and... Yeah, okay, that's eight. And there's some gravel above it, so let's have a go. See how well we do this time. Yeah, I got rid of the gravel. We had 31, so let's have a look. I think I'm missing a few. That's not the best thing to use for that. Have we lost any? Have we not we lost any? No, I don't think we have. Fantastic. I will also light up this area because I don't want any mobs to spawn. <coughs> yes, I think that'll do. So what do we get this time? 56. So that was 25 from 8. Very good. Very happy. So we've got a stack, almost a stack of diamonds straight away. <laughs> Fantastic. So let's go back and um, finish off making these turtles. Can't believe it. Of course, the pick will repair itself nicely uh, because it's mending. And also, in fact, it's already mended itself. I don't need to worry about it. You can, I think I told you this before, you can hold down the right shift right button on, on with a tool in your hand and it'll automatically repair. As you can see, my health is actually down a bit, or food is, because I've been or excavating, which uses up food levels. So, right, let's go on. So, we need a pick. I've got my, I think I've got plenty to make two picks actually. I'll be generous. If you've got two, tools, two turtles, two picks will do fine. So we'll put these diamonds away safely into this chest here. And we'll also get rid of this dimensional shard. Is there anything else I picked up in here? Silver ore, yes, I picked up some silver ore. And these crystals, I'm not sure what to do with these arcane crystals from. We get rid of this stuff as well. I've got some iron and some salt. I think salt can also go in here. I don't think I've got it in any other barrels. Or maybe, oh yes, I have a look. Let's get those two out of there. It was just the crystals that went, isn't it? They didn't go into that. No. Okay. You're hearing a strange noise, and I think it's the... All right, get rid of that. A flint. Good. So these two here, at least the silver, we can push through the through the machine. Oh, gosh. This thing gets about a bit. The silkworm, I can tell you. There's a funny noise, and I think it is... must be you. So in here we've got some lead dust because I'm pushing it through them twice so if I've got a whole load of stuff it'll end up quite quite well. Let's just get rid of this as well. Let's put that into this one here. So here's all my resources at the moment. It's not doing too badly. Um, oh, salt's in here. Okay. Paper probably doesn't want to be in there but then we got some stack and a bit of uh, iron and gold, copper, tin, silver, which we need for Electrum, lead dust, nickel, which we'll need for invar, platinum, I think, I'm not sure if that zinc, I think would normally be used for brass, and that aluminium dust. Now these basically, once you process them, uh, all become uh, silence mechanisms, ores. This is great, I never to get rid of the stuff in this chest, no, it's here. My stone chest is here, so I can get rid of all of that stuff in there. So now we can go and get the turtles going. So I'll go downstairs where I want to start turtling and I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, we're here. So what we have to do is we have to make a 3x3 three three tunnel. So I'm going to just I'm probably use the OP pickaxe for doing this. <laughs> Might not be such a good idea. 
we need to make a little space that's three by three and then we need to put down a two a two chests underneath it like well actually one chest it the turtle will come back here and it will deposit its stuff into here so we need a chest underneath this is, has two purposes this chest it basically it's for cobblestone and then to the side of this chest here we need to put a hopper pointing in towards this so i better do that I should do it like this shouldn't i so i need a hopper pointing that way so that you will fill it, feed it with torches so this is what we're going to be doing so we need that i'll get rid of those two now. i don't need those two so we can put a chest down like this in fact we can put a double chest down because i did have to go back and make some chests because i've forgotten about it like that and then we can put another one down here like this you don't need two to start with one will be fine but and there's also a thing in quite if you put down a chest like this and then you shift click this one it doesn't they don't join up into, into double chests very useful i guess there's a block or something down there as well it's only cobblestone don't care about it and then it's going to deposit the what it's collected in the chest behind it here like this so I'll just knock this one down. Again, of course, you can use a double chest for doing this. Like that. And then what it does is it goes up and then it travels back and starts mining again. I want to get rid of these two chests. Um, just not just anything will do, won't it? Let's just hold down the Alt key and mine those up. Hopefully I only pick up these two. No, I didn't, did I? <laughs> Honestly doesn't take a second to get the rest of them back again so that'll do so we can put into here torches but we put minecraft torches in there there's probably not enough it needs 23 so then we're going to put the turtle down we'll put him down i think you put him down where do we put it down probably here in the middle on the chest so let's do that facing that direction so i'm going to hold down shift and, and click the turtle down here like this now the program i need to edit is called um safe branch so we'll just edit safe branch okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to save it the reason i'm going to save this i'm also going to put a pickaxe in here because uh, i want to create the file uh, it's so I can know where the folder's already been created. It automatically creates the folders for you. So let's press Control and then Save and Control and Exit. And that, that's exited. Now we need to put this pickaxe into place. So we'll do Equip. And as you type, um, if I type it right, that is. So we need to equip um, on the left hand side. I think I want it on the left hand side. No, we'll do it on the right hand side. I think it's this way around it might be the other way no it's quick one slot one on the right hand side and you press tab and it completes it so it's now equipped the pickaxe on the right hand side of the of the turtle like that now it needs some fuel and it also needs two other things one i haven't got with me which was very sensible oops i need to knock on the block away here because i can't open this chest um what I need it to do is I need some smooth stone and some cobblestone so I'll be back in a second when everything's prepared right I've got everything we need so what you have to do is you have to the program's called safe branch and I put it into the thing so we can press tab and press enter on it then it says um it says what type of shaft you're going to do so you can do main or side we want to do the main one like that then it's how long does it want to be and it says the best thing to do is in multiples of 10 so we'll say it's 80 blocks long and then it's basically going to do its thing and now it shouldn't work because it hasn't got the ingredients it needs in restocking on cobblestone right okay so it wants fuel so we need to put fuel in slot 16. we also need to put and it didn't tell me this but i was expecting it to tell me because it's in the usage you put cobblestone in one in slot two you put stone stone slot three you put torches uh, and slot four you put redstone torches for this particular um turtle and then we put fuel in the last slot so it should take 
some fuel out of here and put it into there. So let's press enter on that. Now it's going to start working. What it's going to do is going to restock. There we are. So now it's going to go back. And this is where it's going to start from. So it's then going to mine its way down. Oh, yes. OK, I've forgotten about that. I made a change to the program. <laughs> I made a change to the program so it would actually go on as far as it needs to go on to actually start. And I don't want it to do this because let me just break it. We'll stop. We'll start again as it should have, as we should have done it. Right, good. Like that. All I have to do is just put a block of something or other in the way. Did I pick it up? Yes, I did. Did I pick up everything else? Yes, I did. Good. Let's try that again. So I'll put it down again, and we're going to put in. Say we want it to start here, for example. So we just make sure it goes like that, and it'll use this block to detect that it can't go any further and it'll start tunneling from there. That was the change to the original program I made, the one that computes the one the turtle with the mining turtle. So let's try that again. Now I think it has a say Ah yes. I forgot to do something. We need to label this one. If I forget if I forget to label it, set set a label on it, it's going to change its ID every time you break it. So before it was ID zero and now it'll be ID one I guess. So let's label set um we'll call it first. Very creative. No we'll call it minor one. Okay. So now the label so we can type ID on it, it'll tell us that it's now ID one and it's labels minor one. And it hasn't got that program. So I'll be back in a second as soon as I've got the the program into that folder. So it should not be in the folder. I'm not sure. Um, so you can put this down like this. So we can say we want a main tunnel and we want it 80 blocks long. Um, and that's what you have to write in this one. It'll go off and it'll start to do its thing. It's going to say it's got, mm, it shouldn't have any, it should have fuel actually, but maybe I've lost all the fuel. Restocking on cobblestone. Right, so it is out of fuel. When you break it again, you lose the fuel. So we need to put all this stuff back into this. Oh, I did really well with that. And that's torches, isn't it? Redstone torches and fuel. And of course, I've now got to go back and get some. My bucket of fuel has... Where's my bucket of fuel gone to? Huh. I think I've lost my bucket of fuel. Or my bucket, even. I don't think that hasn't been dropped. Nope, it just destroyed it when I broke it. That's a shame. Um, what we can do is quickly make a, a crafting table. It's probably a good idea to have one down here anyway. I did bring some iron with me because I thought I'd need some more buckets. So I'll put the crafting table just in here like that. And then we'll make a, some more buckets of iron buckets. We'll make four now. We've got plenty. Go back and get some uh, lava from this pool just back here. It actually shouldn't be too far away. There's actually one pool to our left hand side just down here. Maybe we can actually find it. Oh yes, that's where the that's where the spiders are, isn't it? If, it, if I can't find it now, I won't, I won't spend too much time doing this. We'll go back and we'll just go back just down here because this is where the big pool is, easy to find. <laughs> Instead of being daft. I'll just check in my inventory, make sure I've got space to get some more buckets of lava. Now, the difference between lava and is one of the best fuels for the turtle. You can mine a thousand blocks with one bucket of lava. If you compare that to coal, which you can only do 80. So I think coal and charcoal basically both allow 80 blocks, which isn't enough. Or it doesn't go very far. With... Um, with lava we've got plenty, so we can put it in here. Now it should take this out of here when we press enter on this. And we can take the bucket away again and we can put another bucket in its place like that. And now it's going to go along here and it should start mining. So now it's detected its beginning. What it does, I'm not sure what it's doing at the moment. <laughs> there we go. So I think it needs cobblestone in here. Otherwise, if I haven't got enough cobblestone, it's not going to work. And I don't have very much cobblestone in there, and it's stopped. I need cobblestone in slot two. I'm out of cobblestone, sorry. I need cobblestone in slot... Oh, right, so I've got these two the wrong way around. Let's do it like that. 
and then press enter on this. So what it's doing is it's filling in the holes. First of all, as you can see, it's just broken that torch. I have to put the torch back in once it's gone along. It will actually place torches itself, which is a nice feature about this thing. And what it's doing is it's checking both the floors and the walls and the ceiling for cobblestone. Now what's it doing? Restocking on cobblestone 2%. Let's just, I should have enough in actually. I think it wants 64, but it will, it'll make, it'll certainly have enough by the time it's finished. It needs 20, it, uses, it needs 21 maximum per slice. So now it's doing a slice, as you can see. And a slice is basically a three by three block. Let's just mine out some of this stuff out here and you can see what's going on better. So it's doing a three by three block like this. And when it detects any ores, it will break at the side piece like this. So let's just put down a torch. There's a Minecraft torch which I'll put into this over here and it will stop it will basically take enough for it to work we'll take our fiery torches and put them down like this from here so it won't take extra it will just take enough in fact i can break away this block here now i'm putting another chest into this slot like that and give it a double chest on that which i can't open because i have still not got rid of this block above it like that so now we can open this chest and as you can see, oh sorry all right it dumped my bucket into this one good i didn't I didn't lose that so now we've got two, those two buckets and we can put this back into here oh, it shouldn't that cobblestone shouldn't be in there this stone should be in there fantastic so off it goes and it's the reason it's a safe a safe miner is it will um it will dig out this and basically make sure that the whole tunnel is blocked in as you can see because i made a little tunnel down here and it's blocking this tunnel off as it goes along so if there's any mobs back here it'll stop now to do the side uh, tunnels we do the same thing this is a torch and it will place torches down every fire not sure one two three five blocks i think so it'll make a three by three tunnel like this and then it'll have two blocks and then it'll do the next three blocks. so it'll should put down another torch in a second as soon as it's done this slice so let's put down the next the next turtle down here like this now we can also we need to equip it of course and we need to label it so we'll label it um set press the letter and it'll start typing we'll call it minor two like that and then we need to equip one on the right hand side i think left is the default we can also put um what can we do with this we can put wireless modems on here so we can then start to talk and find out where it is so that's going to do that needs some fuel in the bottom slot now this one needs torches i've got 15 here it should have more uh, it should have more really um and it needs cobblestone in slot two torches in slot three it doesn't need any redstone but it does need a piece of stone and of course i haven't got a piece of stone and this thing has got a piece of stone but i should have brought made two you can see it's getting full up now um let's take away the fiery torch we can keep that one so it's picking up silver ore and it's getting cobblestone in it let's take that cobblestone out of here and put this cobblestone into this into here because it's going to need 20 at least at least 22 as 21 it'll test for and i need some more torches right i'll be back in a second with the bits we need Right, I'm back. And I've come across, of course, the, the problem with turtles. It's basically, if you get, if they can unload their chunk, then they actually stop working. So, because I've labelled this one now, it shouldn't be too much of a problem to actually break it and put it down. Now, one of the fixes to made to the programme was to start from where it was and carry on. So, the thing, let's go back over here and get it to do its thing again. So, 
if I come back to the turtle here, you see it's still got the ID one it tells you here in the things. So shift right click that down again and then we'll tell it again. If we do safe branch and press the log, it creates a log file as well. And you press question mark, it tells you what to do. So it says safe branch type, which can be side or main. So it's a main tunnel or side tunnel. And then the length of the tunnel and then the direction of the turtle. Um, that, that that's for side tunnels and also the number of turtles for side tunnels that's right so what we'll do is we'll do a safe branch so we want to do main and we wanted to do 80 so it probably got the it keeps the fuel but we'll put some more into it um it needed cobblestone in slot one stone in slot two torches in slot three and redstone torches in slot four I think that's all we need to do. Right click. So it should start. It's dropping off extra cobblestone. I think that's right. I hope I've got it the right way around. I think it's stone it wants in slot. We'll soon see. If I got it the wrong way around, it will tell us. Restocking cobblestone. Yes, it's the wrong way around. <laughs> Now it should hit this one, but it shouldn't break it. It should say, in fact, it doesn't say anything. It should actually say in the log file, it'll say the log file. Uh, so I have to remove this turtle. Now, since I've already set it up, all I'm going to do to, to remove it is to go into the Lua, because it's all, it's all Lua interpreter. And so I'll say turtle, and I want it to go up. And that'll just move it up one block. And then the, the other turtle then can go past out of fuel. Okay, so we need to refuel. Um, I think we have to select the slot first of all. I think we have to select slot 16. So that's the fuel slot. And you'll see that the slot is now highlighted down here. So we can then type refuel. I think it's turtle refuel, isn't it? I think everything starts with a turtle. When you're in Lua, refuel. And that should just take that out. So it's now got fuel in it. We can put some more fuel into this slot here like this. So now we can type turtle up, which we can do by the up and down arrow keys. We'll select it up. And the other one is simply carried on. So now it should have got its whatever it needs. Oops. Then it goes right back down to where it started from and we'll carry on so let me double check because I'm pretty sure yeah so it's now carrying on from where it was so it should be checking for the things here what it's doing is it's actually checking for the what's in item one slot one and compare it and then replacing it with slide slot two if it's not slot one that makes sense so if it detects something that it's not found before for example it's not stone it will dig it up and it will replace it and it's doing this on all of the sides so here we go now it's going to replace these two uh i think these are so we're getting in here silver ore like that and it's replacing it with cobblestone and then it's going to carry on doing the next one so let's go back to this turtle here now <laughs> it's in the right place and we'll say turtle down So it's back to where we want it to go to. So we can then type in here exit to get out of here. Uh, probably my video is going a bit longer than I want it to do. But I think it's useful to see this anyway. So then we can type safe branch. Now we're going to do a side tunnel. Um, we'll make it, I think we'll do it 80 blocks long again. And we'll also say we want it to go the next time it moves along we want it to go to the right so the right it's facing at the moment so we'll type r and then we'll say there's one turtle so because if it what it that basically means it will move it along the number of blocks by the number of turtles so i think that moves along five blocks like that so there we go off it goes and it's going to use this redstone torch to determine which direction to go back to find this block i hope that's explained it well enough and the way this is going to, um, you can't go out of here now. You've basically got to AFK around this place until it's finished. Because if you do, it'll lose its track of where it is. And we'll have to pick it up and bring it back 
back to this torch again and it'll carry on of course so what I was saying about the totals so I said there's one so it's going to take from this position here it's going to move to this next position here so I think that's five blocks one two three four five and if, it, if I said there were two turtles, it would move along two to two torches because you can have multiple torch, turtles running at the same time on different sides. That's why I've got these. Now, the next thing I did to this program is if these two detect a valuable ore. So I've got classified emeralds and diamonds as valuable ores. Um, it will stop and it will wait until I do something with it. Since I've now got this pickaxe, I'm going to break break them with this pickaxe rather than use the standard um, use the turtle because it doesn't have any fortune in the turtle. Well, I hope that explained everything. Right, that's it for this episode. You've just seen this uh, side turtle put down a torch, I think. I just put down a torch there. And it's going to carry on mining until it's done its 80 blocks. And then it'll return back to where I am standing now and go to the next um, position. So I'll wait. I'll come back in a few seconds when that's done. I'll see you in a short while. Well, just as I said that, this turtle stopped. So I went to investigate. And sure enough, it's found a diamond. So let's come over here. Let's check that we've got no lava about. I forgot lava about. It's a bit of a pain. So we'll, we'll or excavate this diamond up like that, and it was just a single diamond. Did I pick it up or not? No, is it still hiding down? Oh, it's actually yes, it's hiding down there. I'm just going to break this and pick it up. I would like to get a magnetic on my armor. Um, so that's it. So it's better five diamonds for that one. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't expect that to be honest with you. So it's well worth doing that because diamonds are fairly rare, as you saw. So I can just simply says so it found Minecraft Diamond Ore, press enter to continue, so it gives you the enter. And it'll carry on doing what it was doing. Mining away. As you can see. Right, I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, I'm back again. As you can see on the mini map here there is a cave and it's actually the cave is above our heads that's why we're getting cobblestone placed down here if you look up here very carefully when he goes up to that we'll go and mine up the redstone see there's a hole here and it just simply filled in the hole that's why it's a safe miner so if there are mobs about it's not going to cause any problems you can just see it there how much longer it's got to go it's got a long time to go anyway i'll be back in a few seconds <laughs> Now you see this turtle's returning because its inventory is full. So it's going to drop the stuff into here and it's going to put any ex excess cobble into this chest here like this. And I think it does the cobblestone f first. Now it's taken cobblestone and it's drop dropping its stuff out of here. Oops, I'm in the way. <laughs> and I've just knocked me out, knocked me down a bit. But um, you see, this is what it's mined up is this stuff here. So we've got some iron ore, which is great. Some silver ore, which we're not so useful at the moment, but it will be later on. And some uh, lead ore. So those are the ores. It's also found some inferior and some prosperity shards, which we're going to need. And lots of marble, because it's actually going through a marble block at the moment, as you can see. And it's replacing the marble with cobblestone as it goes along. It makes it slightly slower to do this, but you can't, one of the limitations of, um, a few limitations with turtles for instance you can't right click something um, which is a bit of a shame another iron ore and of course it loses itself it doesn't have any chunk loading capabilities so it doesn't do that either <coughs> right I'll start again and it the other thing it can't do is it can't detect liquids it treats liquids as air you can detect blocks in front of it but that's it I need more torches and slot four. They need redstone torches. Have they got any with me? I can make some more. And then you put some in and you press enter and it'll carry on, I guess. Yes, it will. 
So next it'll put down a torch here and I think you'll see these become sevens. So eight, so basically it's got to do eight, I said 80 didn't I, so it needs six, 16 torches in total, redstone torches. So now it'll put down a torch here and light up those two corners and that, so the lighting is perfectly organised. Um, <clears throat> I'm having a bit of a coughing fit at the moment, excuse me. And here, when it comes back again, what it's going to be doing is it's going to be taking every other to torch out of here because they're too frequent. So it's found some prosperity shards. Oh, no, it wasn't something else. Like this. So as you can see, what it actually does is it misses a block. The block it's going to miss is the quarter one that goes, if you go underneath this floor here. So instead of doing a 5x5 five five area, it's doing 5x5 um, five five without the corners. So when you do the next row, level above, you've got to make sure you put it so that you can catch those blocks. As I said before, emeralds and diamonds can be singles, and you don't want to miss them because they're fairly, emeralds not such bad really get lots from villagers but definitely other ones right hopefully that's enough explanation we'll see you when they're finished well this, well, uh, this one's finished just now and as you can see it's now removing every other torch so these the lighting in this area is just enough so that you get eights in here so that nothing will spawn and it will also save torches and then when it's finished this block it will move along and go to the next prepare itself for the next um tunnel which is a really nice thing i've actually got one slight problem with this at the moment i'm gonna to have to fix this before i publish it i would like to do a few more things with this thing it'll come down here and it'll sit opposite next to this one ready for the next tunnel and the one at the end here should also have finished because it i started this one first um you don't want to do two bigger tunnels because it depends on the render dif distance. Your render distance is normally 10 chunks. Now 10 chunks represents six, 10 by 16, 160 blocks. If you go out of that level, then these things are going to stop. And it's got this progress bar along here, and it tells you when it's completed. So it's done. So it sit, and it sits right in front of this torch. So if we get it, send it off again for another block, another 80 will go off, start from this position which is a really nice, really nice program. Uh, I didn't write it, but I did um, a few changes for it to work with uh, Computer Craft Tweaked because it wasn't working particularly well. So that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you've found it quite interesting. It's quite fun playing with these turtles, I must admit. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.